Let's just finish this rope out. Here we go. Alright, this leaves us down to two, I believe. And then here comes the huge mill. <laughs> oh, that's like 20, 24. That's a ton of mill. That's ridiculous. That's way more than I thought. That's a 32. Oh my god, that's disgusting. And we're not even done. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to watch Hello Good Game. Today we have a very special deck for you. This is a Teferi Tribal Mill, and it's incredibly powerful. We're easily tying together uh, three Gwen Streaks within Mythic Rank, so you should have no problem ranking up with this deck. Um, we're milling up to like 20, 30 cards in a single turn, so this is aggressive. As always, we're going to take a look at the deck list in its entirety, breaking down each individual card. Then we're going to talk about the deck's strategies and synergies. How do all of those individual cards work together to form a coherent working archetype? Then we're going to look at some gameplay footage, breaking down any playlines and interactions we can find within the new core set 2021 standard meta. Finally, we have my closing thoughts, talking about any deck upgrades, alternative build routes, future content, etc, etc. So thanks for watching. If you find any value within this video, go ahead, give, the, give me a thumbs up and share the channel out to a friend. Teferi Tribal Mill starts out with four copies of Frantic Inventory. This is a two drop instant, draw a card, then draw cards equal to the number of cards named fr Frantic Inventory in your graveyard. So that's a really cool draw spell. Uh, especially as the game goes on and we acquire more of them in our graveyard. So it just gets stronger and stronger. Finale of Revelation. This is in our true drop, but really it should be over here in our nuclear drop zone. Sorcery speed, draw X cards if X is 10 or more. Instead, shuffle your graveyard into your library, draw X cards, then up, untap up to five lands. You have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game, and then you exile Finale of Revelation. Moving on to our three drops, we have four copies of Teferi's Tutelage. This is an enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card, then discard a card. Whenever you draw a card, target opponent mills two cards. Okay, okay. Two copies of Mirror Maid. This is another enchantment. You may have Mirror Maid enter the battlefield as a copy of any artifact or enchantment on the battlefield. Yours and your opponent's. Four copies of Narset, Parter of Veils. Legendary Planeswalker coming in with five loyalty. Static ability. Each opponent can't draw uh, more than one card each turn. Minus two. You may look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them. Put it into your hand and then the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Four copies of Teferi Time Raveler. Four loyalty, static ability. You, your opponent can cast spells only anytime they can cast a sorcery, so no instances. Plus one until your next turn, you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. And minus three, return up to one target artifact, creature, or enchantment to its owner's hand and draw a card. On to our four drops. We have four copies of Shattered Sky, Sorcery Speed. Each player who controls a creature with power four or greater gets to draw a card and then destroy all creatures. Two copies of Drawn from Dreams, more sorcery speed. Look at the top seven cards of your library, put two of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Four copies of Teferi, Master of Time, Legendary Planeswalker coming in with three loyalty. Static ability, you may activate ability loyals of Teferi, Master of Time on any player's turn, anytime you could cast an instant. Plus one ability, draw a card, then discard a card. Minus three, target creature you don't control phases out. And minus ten, take two turns after this one, which is psycho. We also have uh, three copies, I believe, of Teferi Ageless Insight, a legendary enchantment. If you would draw a card except the first one, you draw each of your turns, uh, draw two cards instead. So on your draw phase, you still draw one, but if you're drawing after that, you get double draws, which is uh, very, very nice. Four copies of Elspeth Conquers Death. This is an enchantment saga, so it triggers when it enters the battlefield and on each of your following upkeeps. When it enters, exile target permanent and opponent controls with converted mana cost three or greater. On the following upkeep, non-creature spells your opponent cast, cost two more to cast until your next turn. And then on its final trigger, return a uh, target creature or planeswalker from the graveyard to the battlefield. Put a plus one, plus one counter or a loyalty counter on it, depending on if it was a creature or planeswalker, right? So these spells are accompanied by uh, one castle Arnvale, an unknown amount of planes, one castle Vantress, seven islands, uh, four hallowed fountains, and four temple of enlightenments. We don't see the number of planes because of the new land art. We'll have to go here and we notice that it is 11 total. So, um, yeah. <laughs> no sideboard today. We're playing best of one. Uh, the deck was pretty gross. Let's begin to talk about the strategies and synergies that you're going to find within this Teferi mill deck. Really, it's just the standard control, right? We have Narset that limits their draw. We have Teferi 
which limits um, their playability. So that is just really oppressing our opponent, um, their game plan. And then we've got things like Shatter the Sky still, just is cleaning aggro clocks, destroying all them. And then Elspeth Conquers Death is taking out any big baddies, uh, Planeswalkers, Enchantments, anything that's going to get to us that we really want to remove. Our ECD does that. ECD brings back the Planeswalkers from our graveyard, which is really nice. The Teferi Narset, our, our other Teferi can all come back, which is really cool. We do have the discard through the Ageless Insight. Um, so that's pretty gross. Or is that? No, that's actually from our tutelage. So whenever Teferi tutelage enters the battlefield, draw a card, then discard a card. With the discard effect here, sometimes I do like to discard the Planeswalkers because uh, Alsoth Conqueror's Death can bring those Planeswalkers back from the grave. So don't be scared to use your Teferi's plus discard or the tutelage discard to maybe toss a Narset, a Teferi, or another Teferi into the grave because we're going to be bringing those back from the grave later with our ECD. So that's uh, one of the biggest strategies to go for. Mirror Maid can copy both our ECD uh, and our Teferi tutelage, which is really, really nice. So really increasing not only our removal, but our mill. Teferi can bounce Mirror Maid, so it can uh, come into the battlefield as one thing. You can bounce it back to your hand, and now it can re-enter the battlefield potentially as a different thing. Uh, so there's a lot of utility within Mirror Maid and Teferi. Um, and again, you can bounce your ECD back to your hand for multiple plays of it. That's really nice. Teferi's Plus leads you to Instant Speed, uh, Shadow of the Sky, which is pretty cool. Instant Speed Drawn from Dreams, which is pretty cool as well. And even potentially an Instant Speed Finale of Revelation. So the deck doesn't have a ton of kill commands, right? You are just trying to mill your opponent. This is why Finale of Revelation comes in really handy because... We're going to be drawing a lot of cards and milling our opponent uh, into oblivion so this is like a, an insurance policy because we can shuffle our library back into our deck which is really nice so we are protecting ourselves from a self mill and then just uh, making sure that we can slay our opponent there's not much to the deck uh, frantic inventory gets stronger as it goes so if you've got three or four copies of this uh, in your grave and like some tutelage is out, you're ending the game uh, just because you're going to draw so many cards and tutelage is going to trigger like just so many times, right? It's kind of crazy. So there's really not much to the deck drawn from dreams, basically uh, just looking for things like our insight, our tutelage, maybe a planeswalker if we need it. If our library is getting low, then we are looking for a finale of revelation to uh, restock it, stuff like this, right? So uh, the play lines are relatively simple. We have Castle Vantress in there and Castle Ardenvale as well. So you're not leaving untapped mana open on your end step. You can always be sure uh, to use it in one way or another. You know what I mean? Uh, as far as opening play styles go, I really like to just flood the field with uh, the tutelage and the insight. And then we're looking after that for Shatter of the Sky, using our health as a buffer zone, maybe going down to 10, then we shatter. And now we can begin uh, to take control of the match through our Teferis, through our ECDs and just mill our opponent at hyper speed. So that's the general deck strategy. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Before we get into today's gameplay footage, I want to remind you I'm live on YouTube every day at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard. At 7 a.m. Mountain Standard, we go live on Twitch and then we're in the Discord for the remainder of the day. So links for everything is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate not only those spending their time and attention with me, but uh, everyone who stepped up and started to support the channel financially on YouTube, Patreon, and Twitch. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much. You're really making uh, dreams come true. So I really appreciate uh, all of you. Thank you so much. Enjoy today's gameplay footage and don't forget to stick around for our final thoughts. We get to go first again. Pretty cool. Nice lands. I guess we're looking for Shatter the Sky. Oh, we finally find a copy. Right on the top. Now all we need is an aggro deck. It could just be Salt Eye Ramp. That would be sad. We have our tutelage into our insights. That's pretty cool. We could actually double down on our tutelage. So this is going to be pretty aggressive. Oh, immediate removal. It's a good thing we have two of them. As far as discarding goes... We're sitting on four, we can go to five. Let's be greedy and just toss the land. Go Gary Locket, <laughs> interesting.
Let's get our inside out. Just spending all of our mana most efficiently. So instead of spending three, we spend all four. Is four mana available? Really? No way! Let's toss one of our shatters. We mill his Ugin. Okay, okay. Unless that's where he wants it. Are you serious? Wow. Main decking multiple wilts. Maybe I should just do this now. Just for the draw, right? We could draw four. Just kind of keep the flow of our play going, refill our hand. I think that's more important than anything right now. Pulling that to Fairy and Narsa, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's fine. We have ECD. If I were you, smelly, but effective. Let's show him how it feels. Have your permanence removed on I drop. Rise again. <laughs> Play another one. Okay, Barkai Troll's not bad. Okay, okay. Blood the field with creatures. Very good, my friend. I'm playing Narset just so he's got something to attack and then our ECD has something to bring back. We get to look for more shatters and stuff, so that's always really nice. Let's grab our tutelage, and we're gonna flex that out again. Alright, we're still at 18. Not too shabby. That's his last card. We do lose a few life here, I think two. And then we get hit for six. He might kill Narset though. Tries to draw into her when he could have killed her and then taken the draw. So she stays alive. We get rid of that wilt, which is nice. Take that draw again. We're gonna take the inventory. Let's just shatter. Why not? Clean that field up. Sack our tutelage. Get rid of Narset for now. Alright, it's good mills, good mills. Leyline Prowler, that's fine. This is where it starts to get fun. <laughs> right. Uh, let's get rid of our Drawn from Dreams. Casualties of War, Sterex. Loving it. For two, that leaves us two mana. Let's do a Teferi Bounce instead. That also draws us a card, which equals the mill of six like from our opponent, which is pretty crazy.
Let's draw a card here as well. Another six mil. Our opponent's got a huge deck as well. I'm just noticing this. Uh, he's down to 30, though. We're at 31. Somehow, uh, that uh, math makes sense, I guess. I don't know. I don't think playing with a big deck's ever that great. So again, just from the draw of our first card, we're milling six. Pretty psycho. Uh, three, four... Six, this seven, eight, nine. We need twelve. So this can come in tapped. Let's push Teferi out. Do another mill for six. This finale of revelations on top of the tutelage is going to be a lot of fun. I think we probably could have milled them just without a huge one because we have three copies, but I want to cast it for a bunch. <laughs> Right? We could still draw two, and that mills for like four, eight, twelve. Here we go, bro. Some pretty heavy cycling there into a Narset. He's definitely going to concede after that. Very can plus for more mill. Good game. Woo! Woo! We're going first. I love it. We have our tutelage on board. And a Teferi. Okay. Obviously not turn three Teferi, so we shouldn't be too proud of ourselves, but it's good nonetheless. Alright, we don't really have a 2 drop, so let's play slow. Let's drop our tutelage, I guess. Right? Probably counter this if he has it. I'd rather him counter that than our Narset, though, or a Teferi. That's for shizzle. He lets it hit because he's probably having the same thought. I would love to draw. Hmm. Let's discard our 4-drop to Fairy, and then Elspeth Conquers Death can bring it back, which is really nice. Oh my lord, and we mill his Elspeth Conquers Death. That's so good. Okay, okay. Into a gross spiral. Gross. A gross spiral. It's okay. It's not like there's going to be an Uro next or anything. <laughs> we need to remember that he has his own Elspeth Conquers Death. So we want to make sure that he plays his first and then we play ours onto his. Right? And then hopefully try to bounce ours with Teferi. Or copy it with a Mirror Maid. That could be beneficial as well. We just pulled a second copy. I'm loving that. Let's see what the mills are. Castle Vantress. Okay. Hmm. 
Let's just uh, throw our Narset into a counter, I guess. He's not going to let me play forever. If he has counter spells, he's going to use them. Okay. Hopefully he drops something uh, that we can respond to, right? We have two ECDs, so if he drops something, we can... Uh, yeah, we'll take this Tameo. Hopefully the plus, right? Not the minus. Plus, plus, plus. <laughs> Let's get this self mill. No, he's minusing. No. He takes his ECD back. Of course. What a guy. I really like Tameo, just because she shuts down a lot of the sacrifice. So he's going to play his on ours, but that saves our tutelage. And then we can ECD on his ECD. A very weird situation, but... Might actually mirror maid our ECD rather than playing the second copy. We'll see. If we draw three drop, right, then we can mirror maid and drop our three as well. Yeah, ECD on ECD, that's just how she goes. Really? I guess. Just getting as much value out of our turn as we can. We're taking our Teferi. We're going to Mirror Maid the ECD to take his ECD. Then we have a third copy in hand, plus our Teferi to start bouncing uh, one of the others, so mm, I'll allow it. Another Tameo, nice. What's he got in here? Neutralizes, that's our biggest threat. He might just plus. What if Tame or Narset can dig for another ECD and then we <laughs> to fairy bounce a different one? He does take neutralize, easy. I don't have Get the a plan, loyalty there. Just make one up. Let's immediately take the draw. Um, let's toss Narset. Take the draw here too. First, see what we get. With thoughtfulness before action. Take that Tameo again. I have learned little here. His turn. We can plus our Teferi, which is dope, or we can minus it, which I don't think he's got anything with haste that really affects us that way, so that should be fine. He's holding up a neutralize at this point, which is pretty weird. So we make his things two more to cast, so that neutralize is actually worth five, which is all but one of his mana. I train every day. No one is more prepared than me. Drawing with Narset. We're at forty-one still. I have 
just the trick for this. Let's take our tutelage. Let's toss that out. Probably he's going to counter it for five, and then we can play whatever else we want. Um, probably sneak our just our regular Teferi in play so we can't counter stuff after that. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Don't worry. Bounce that ECD back you. to our hand, please. And then we can just take our regular draw with the fairy. Boss the land, I guess. Hopefully we can squeeze this inside out, and then we can do a, a nice revelation. Okay. Okay. That's going to target our big Teferi. Really? Targeting little Teferi. He's tapped out, so he can't counter our ECD on his ECD. Let's take our plus here. Toss the land. Minus on our Narsa. Meditate and prepare. Take another Teferi. Let's ECD his ECD. Always the best move. And then I say let's just go slow and get this tutelage out there so we can start getting rid of his library. <laughs> we draw another ECD, my lord. This is a hard discard. I guess we toss to fairy. Now we get to plus here for more mill. Getting rid of our shatter. Our opponent's got a thick hand. To fairies at nine, which is quite nice. We have two Elspeths in his exile. That's it. So he's got two more Elspeth Conquers Deaths. And this is a full cost Shark Typhoon. I don't recommend doing that. Fairy goes up to 10. I guess let's just minus on him. We get the mill, which is really nice. We get a further mill. This is going to get weird. Let's take our draw with Narset. Hone your prowess. I guess we'll pull it to Fairy. Honestly, I'm just going to minus 10. Now we're cooking, right? Um, let's play this Insight. And then we're replaying it to Fairy. Let's make Drawing. Which now triggers the tutelage and the insight. Uh, let's discard this land here. Woof. Okay. Our turn again. I believe we want a Teferi. Loyalty, please. I know my responsibility. So, sorry, Shark Typhoon. Right, it's just huge mills here. Castle Vantress in play. <laughs> Let's take the Teferi Plus here. Okay, here is some land. There's another ECD, that's great. Let's start chopping down here. <laughs> Loving it. Fairy to fairy. Dark Typhoon. Cool stuff. He's down to 26. Um, we can't double that. We have it to fairy. 
Let's just take this obnoxious draw again. <laughs> We're down to 13. Our opponent's down to 14 now. We have a Mirror Maid, which is pretty cool. Uh, we also have a Tutelage. Let's get that in play. Toss the lands, I guess. Just massive mills. It's incredible. Control does not need a win condition other than mill at this point. Uh, he's down to 6. And it's just, it's too much fun at this point. End our turn. Discard 8 cards. Land. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sure. Something like this. Our turn again? No way! <laughs> right? Uh, without even doing anything, we got him. So we can uh, double Q here. We have 10 land only. That makes me sad. Cast this for 8. Um, can we do that? Yes. Now let's cast uh, just for a little bit. We don't want to self-mill too hard. That's enough to win the game. Even a Teferi Minus or a Mirror Maid. Lots of things to win here. God bless. Who knew a Teferi tribal self, well, not self mill, uh, regular mill could be so strong. Woof. We still have 10 in our library. We're drawing eight cards, takes us down to two, and then he's going to mill, like, what, 16 cards? So, GG, RIP. We're still sitting on more ECDs. We have a Teferi, another Finale of Revelation, and a Mirror Maid. It's just uh, so powerful. Uh, our opponent's deleted the game. He's installing Runeterra as we speak. Poor guy, right? <laughs> what do you do? So 10 X, or X has to be 10 or more if we want to be putting our graveyard into our library. But it does trigger that first before the draw, which is pretty cool. So we could have gotten around that. Let's just finish this rope out. Here we go. Alright, this leaves us down to two, I believe. And then here comes the huge mill. <laughs> oh, that's like 20, 24. That's a ton of mill. That's ridiculous. That's way more than I thought. That's a 32. Oh my god, that's disgusting. And we're not even done. We can make him mill even more. Actually, no, we shouldn't do that. We lose the game here, don't we? <laughs> Only if we draw again. Just, just more mill. Let's go ahead and end our turn here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even look at him. Uh, story, bro. He's got it in full control, so he doesn't have to draw the card. <laughs> right? So he could let us sit here longer. <laughs> what a dog. Alright, let's 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 wait it out. He had a huge deck as well. Um, over Well over 60 cards. Because uh, he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So he's got like 84 cards in deck. 
that we just like crushed through without a problem. Still sitting on 20 life. Just like unlimited control. Um, one, two, three. F we could have cast uh, on the following turn. I guess we did go a little hard and self mill both of us. But if we could have left a card in the uh, library to draw, the following turn we just could have uh, done a revelation for 12 and put our whole graveyard back into the library. So, GG, RIP, easy. Our opponent goes first. No fairies in hand. Actually makes me quite scared. We do have a tutelage though, so that could be fun. Our fourth land. Nah, pass. We do need shatters. Okay, that's better. Hit for three. All right, this is Agro City. There's Shatter, thank you. Long con. We're gonna take some damage here. Let's toss our inventory in the graveyard. Dawnturn Dreams. Milling a questing beast. Yep. We have to assume that there's three more in deck, though. That, that kind of sucks. Okay, she's new growth. That's fine. Hit for seven. That's kind of gross, right? Let's just clean it up. Getting that mail in as quick as we can. Ceratops down, that's nice. He's at 39. Oh, he can't give it haste though, but we can't bounce it. This is bad. We need an ECD or Shatter. Oh, this is so bad. We might be able to mill him out. Oh, ho, ho, my lord. It's gonna get close. We only have two hits. And if he drops a questing beast, we're screwed. Oh, there's our ECD. We're going after it. He's got buff spells. That's not good. Down to 20. So we draw two cards here, and then we mill for two, four, six, eight, right? 16, we mill for 16. So if we can draw another mill effect, we'll win. Hey, this is a close match. We just need like a shatter, something to deal with these attackers. Oh no. I think he's got us. Oh no. 
Yeah, that's bad. We need to shatter off the top. Oh no, we can't. We beat him here because of the draw effect. I didn't think of that. This is enough mill. I'm sure of it. Good game. That's incredible. That's not a draw effect. Oh, we can shatter. Nice. That's psycho. Good game. And we get the mill there too. What a world to be living in. Oakley Doakley, we go first. We've got three lands, sure. Let's just, uh, four land actually. Let's top deck it to Fairy and uh, pretend that everything's fine. Tapped land can come in. Well, shock land can come in tapped. Let me be maybe more specific there. Mono black, lovely. Knight of the Evan Legion. Ooh, into an Enforcer. We mill. We lose a draw and an ECD. That's fine. Looking for a Shatter at this point. Nissa should do... Or Nissa Narset. What a morning. <laughs> Narset's going to help us find that Shatter. Ah, uh, we can't necessarily find it, so we'll grab our Tutelage instead. So whenever it enters the battlefield, draw a card, then discard a card. Whenever you draw a card, target opponent mills two cards. Uh, we see a Reggie in play, so that's brutal. Teferi's going to have to phase that out. No Shatter still. Bummer. We can take the draw on our turn here. If I don't have a plan, I'll it's, just make it's coming. It's going to be there somewhere, right? One, two, three, four. Uh, we can probably... Draw up a planes here. He has to discard, that's fine. We get to phase out whoever he puts his demonic embrace on. We're still taking quite a bit of damage, but it's gonna be okay. Interesting. Goes right into our hand, looks for a non-land. Might take revelations. Or the tutelage. Yeah. So he sees we have no shatter. He knows we basically just need to draw one. So because they're all ta attacking Teferi, we can go ahead and just plus him instead. Which gives us another draw. Almost better than his minus. Hopefully it goes through. Hmm. There we go. Again, we have lots of land, so... For now, anyways. It's a big hit. No shatter. Yikes. And no shatter here, even? Wow. I don't even know. So, I think he's basically got game here. If not very close to having it. So no Demonic Embrace, but we still get hit with just a ton of power. Yikes. That will not give us enough mana. So we're definitely dead no matter what we do. I guess bouncing the Reggie probably would have been ideal, but... This is a bigger draw, and still no Shatter. Can you believe that? I know my responsibility. I'll protect you. We've looked through uh, quite a few cards 
because it's not only 39. We've also put a few of them on the bottom. All right, so let's pack up here. Good game, and we'll try another game here. Ayo, River, who knew Teferi Tribal would be so strong? Really, I mean, just take all the cards that say Teferi on them, put them in the deck. <laughs> I'm kidding, right? There's a few cards that we didn't include within the deck. Um, but nonetheless, this is strong, and I almost want to make a historic variant of this. Let's get this 5-drop Teferi in there, right? We want a 3, a 4, and a 5-drop Teferi. Let's curve out on our opponents, right? So I think this deck is incredible. I've been waiting for a really strong mill deck. Uh, to enter the meta, and Ashiok wasn't quite doing it for us, this gets it done. We can mill 20, 30 cards in a go, so absolutely love it, and it comes with all of the protection to make sure we can survive to the late game to do so. So, to Fairy Tribal Mill, I'm a big fan of. This was a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys thought of the deck in the comments below or in the Discord. I'm also live on YouTube every morning, 6 a.m. Mountain Standard. At 7 a.m. Mountain Standard, we go live on Twitch for three to four hours, depending sometimes as high as eight hours. Uh-oh. <laughs> Come say hi. I'd love to meet you, talk to you in real person. Well, kind of. LOL. And uh, big shout out to everybody supporting the channel, both with their time and attention. Uh, and financially, you guys are incredible. Really making some cool things possible uh, content-wise in the future. So I really appreciate you. Thanks for watching. We're back. Same time, same place tomorrow. Peace. Nice.